For the second year in a row, Teton Pass ski area near Shoto was closed for business. Now, MTN's Joe Huzinga shares how many, how community members are trying to give it new life and how you can help. Historically, Teton Pass ski area has been a quiet place to recreate, but for the past two years, it's been a little too quiet. Over the past year, we've been working to find um, different opportunities to reopen. It's critical to our area. It's been a long-standing part of the community and for recreation in this part of the state. With the current asking price of $375,000, realtor Jim Bauma says there has been some interest from private buyers, but community groups like the Shoto Area Port Authority are looking at broader options. Small ski areas have to find a niche, and we believe we have that. We just have to find the right structure in order to be a long-term viable entity. An ongoing feasibility study looks at three general options, private ownership, nonprofit operation, and cooperative models. In Vermont, there is a ski area called Mad River Glen Cooperative that very successfully operates a, a ski area under the co-op model. Under any model, the draft study cites challenges including difficult access and competition to attract more skiers from Helena and Great Falls. Prediction is it can handle about 500 skiers a day and it was it's on good days it was getting half that. So it obviously needs to be better utilized. Locals express interest in expanding winter opportunities like cross-country skiing and guided backcountry skiing. The study shows years of skier numbers that would likely be unsustainable in the long term and points to other seasonal activities for potential revenue. Hiking, mountain biking, zip lines, <laughs> those kind of things. A nonprofit of local skiers, Friends of the Teton, is also looking at how they can help offset the costs of operations by helping with things like plowing and ski patrol. Friends of the Teton member Doug Wiest says no matter what direction the ski area goes, it will need community input. Just be prepared for us knocking on your door or asking for donations or shares in a co-op, whatever that's going to look like. You know, we are going to be asking for everybody's support. The feasibility study is on track to be finalized this May, and despite the challenges, leaders of the project are optimistic. I think we have a good critical mass to figure something out by next winter, and we need to get working because work needs to be done before it can open then. It's a small operation with a family feel that might just be strong enough to save it. In Teton County, Joe Husinga, MTN News. As part of the feasibility study, they are looking for more public feedback. You can participate in a public interest survey at tetonpassmt.com. The survey deadline is April 20th.